Hello all, Adam here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can uh, create a math quiz using Google Forms. Google Forms is a very effective tool to assess your students. Unfortunately, it only uses more your plain type of text instead of expressions, numbers, and numerals, and such, and such forth that you would use in math. But I think I found a nice little trick that you can use that won't take much time at all. That way you can spend more time with your students and grading instead of creating quizzes and such. So here I have my demo math quiz kind of set up. So I'm going to head on up to the gear settings icon. I do want to create this as a quiz. So I want it to collect uh, my students' email addresses and head on over to the tab where the quizzes make this a quiz. And with us Concord folks, we do have Chromebooks. Now they have a lock mode. So students cannot open up other tabs if you select that. And when you're finished, you're going to click on save. And then from here, you can start creating the questions for your quiz. So here I started with just my basic solve. And then I'm going to have four answer choices. So I'm going to go ahead and select those options. And this is basically where I'm going to stop. Because I had mentioned before, Google Forms is very limited on the kinds and types of things that you can enter with it. And now I'm going to take you to a site that is free and no need to have a sign up or a login. You're going to head on over to codecogs.com. And this is where you're going to start building your questions and your answers. So when you're here, you're going to select the equation editor. And then you're going to scroll on down just a little ways. And then here you're going to click on the full panel range to open up a sta standalone equation editor. What it's going to do is going to give you a little floating toolbar that you can manipulate and move. So I'm going to kind of adjust my screen so I can have this and my Google form. There you go. I kind of like this look here. So here we go. So you're going to notice that you have different uh, expressions and, and different kinds of tools that you'd use for math. So you have your ex exponents here, uh, square roots here, and then fractions and, and different things. And it gives you drop downs. So I would recommend to kind of take a little bit of time to look at that. And then here, this is where you're going to start building and typing in your questions and your answers. So for this first question, I'm just going to do like a mixed number, like one and a half plus three and three fourths. So I'm going to start with one. And then I'm going to select the fraction here. And it's going to give me brackets for my numerator and my denominator. So one and one half. And then as you can see, as I enter it there, this is what it's going to look like. And then I'm going to add one and one half plus three and three fourths. And then when I'm finished, there it is. So now I'm going to head on back to my question. So I'm going to select where it says solve. And then I got to select the image icon and then click the tab where it says by URL. And this is where the cool thing happens. So what you're going to do is you're going to select this image here, one and one half plus three and three fourths, your question. And you're going to drag and drop it right where it says paste an image URL. What it's going to do and then it's going to render that down and it will create an image for you quick and easy. Select and voila, it added it to your question. And this is where it kind of goes kind of quick. So you got your little side side by side screen here. And then you're able to quickly enter in your question with your answers. And this, that way you're not spending much time creating these types of quizzes. So let me kind of show you a little answer choice here. So I got five and half. Oop. So there's five and a half. So now I'm going to come on down to my option one for my first answer. Come on over to the image icon. Select a by URL. And then come on back over here. Drag my five and a half. Drop it where it says URL here. It might take a minute to render it down. Click on select. And there it is. And then you will continue on with that process. And as I mentioned before, then since you're creating this quiz, you will want to then uh, assign your point value and also select your answer choice. So and then all you need to do is select the answer key right here. And then you'll choose your correct answer that how the form's going to grade it. 
And then over here, you can assign the point value for how many points you want that question to be. And then come on over to our little traveling toolbar, add your next question, and you're able to rock and roll. So hopefully this tutorial was beneficial to you so that way you can start creating math quizzes in your Google Forms.